Hello. Hello. Oh my goodness, it's nice to see a big crowd here already. Let's see. Hey Flo. Hi Becky. Hi Kim. Robin Mitz. Budget Coffees with Taylor. Nice to see you back. Christina. Thank you. Kim. Yeah, this isn't a Kim, but I think we have another Kim, but this is this is straight old straight up Kim. Carla, hello. Just me, hello. You can see I'm wearing something different <laughs> than you expected, and I'll explain. Hey, Ollie boy. Hi, Ivy. Hey, Jackie Mac. Oh, okay, 49 people here. Hi, Jennifer. How are you all? I am, <laughs> I'm glad I'm here. I, I just was really puny. I've had a bad few days and this morning I woke up and I was really puny and I thought, oh my God, please don't let it be the crud. But I took the um, test right away and uh, it was negative. So according to Glenda, that means I do have COVID because you know, the tests aren't any good. And she always, she, uh, even though she's had COVID three times, she's never had a positive test. Hi, Grace. Hi, Shelly. My glasses look cute. Well, let me try to keep these, keep these around. I'm always messing with them because you know what? My ears aren't level. <laughs> I, get, that's, I always have to move them because I put them on and I can see myself in the monitor and they're askew. The picture looks really good. Oh, get back on. I'm telling you, solve the problem. It was that. Verizon and Verizon may work for some people, but it didn't work for us. Thank you. I hope I feel better too. I this is the time of year where my allergies are really, really bad. And the times I have been sick, I didn't realize I was sick for a while. But I feel uh, I feel better. I'm just, I'm I didn't eat anything yesterday and I haven't eaten anything today. I have no uh, desire to. You got trifocals with progressive lenses yesterday. Do you, is it, is it take, gonna take you a while to when I first got those glasses? I went out, I was in the grocery store. I couldn't see anything. I couldn't see a thing. And I thought, oh my gosh, because I just paid a fortune for these things, even with my insurance. And I thought, what am I going to do? I can't see with these things. But they told me to just keep wearing them and that you have to get you have to get used to them. Your brain has to get used to processing what you're seeing. And it absolutely did that. And then I lost those beautiful glasses. Hey, Jan. Hi, Claire from North Carolina. She said in the comments, I've had COVID so many times I've lost count. <laughs> Does she not realize how stupid that that sounds? Oh, my gosh. Well, I can tell you, uh, if you've lost count, I will tell you how many times you've claimed. You've claimed to have had it three times. The last time was just for the weekend. Yeah, those those big, huge, they were like pashmina shawls, and she says she's going to wear them on her head as a turban. Hmm. Interesting. Like to see that. Thanks, Jan. I did. I, I got it trimmed um, a few weeks ago. Well, last time I had my color done and 
Yeah, I don't have too much gray there, so <laughs> I have to fluff it up, hide the gray. She has worn tur turbans before. I don't think she's had as something as large as a pashmina shawl piled on her head. Hi, Lemonade Kisses. Ugh, no content whatsoever. I mean, this week, it's like nothing. Nothing. What do we have? Oh, oh her short on chicken cacciatore. And if anybody believes that there's that she made chicken cacciatore, that looked like, you know, some takeout that she was heating up. And let me tell you, if she did make chicken cacciatore, she would... She would, she would have shown the recipe. Why not get a video out there since she's cooking anyway uh, instead of putting up a non-monetized short? Yeah, she's trying to learn because she's going to go in the short business. I am loved. I am loved. Hey, Claudia. Well, I will say goodbye to uh, Laura's wheelchair. Thank you so much. The best moderators on YouTube. And while I'm thanking, I want to not forget to welcome and thank the viewers that are watching this in replay. Uh, thank you so much for being here. And I really want to thank my silent Panthers. Uh, I have forgotten to do that the last couple of times, and I know you're out there because I get your messages, and I really, uh, I really appreciate everyone who's here. What happened to Lover Boy? Lemonade kisses. We are going to get into that. Where is Zeus? Because she said, I just, I've been getting caught up on things the last few nights I've had insomnia. And I saw a good message from Brad that said, no, she's not going to get away with just dropping that storyline. No, just drop it. You think it just never, ever mention it again? And that'll be okay. And I would like to call out uh, and ask for any of my fellow creators that's such a pretentious uh, name, creator, but YouTube has it. If you have a channel and you put out uh, any content, please make a Where is Zeus video this week. Let's start pounding that, pounding that. And I am going, I, you can count on me to do the same thing. Now, where is Zeus? I mean, she's put so much out there. She has embellished this crazy story over and over and over again. Will your son just not do it anymore? Clearly, Zeus isn't going to come to see you in the fall. Yes, he's gotten real busy again. You know, with Christmas, everything coming out. Gee, Seemed like he should have prepared a little bit more. Or is he working on Christmas of 2023? I love your snark too, Flo. I might have missed that, but you were crazy. Oh, there you are. You have been reported for being mentally crippled. My, my favorite things is... Um, when Flo gives her reasons, uh, you guys, I'm in the, I'm, I, I'm on the lookout for Chuck. I have something to say to him. Um, I, I want to tell him I was way off track and I didn't, I said too much. I shouldn't have said anything. Uh, and I'll explain it all when Chuck gets here, but Chuck, you are very, um, welcome and loved and respected member of this society. And I, I respect your work. Chuck is a professional comedian and he is very, very funny and um, racist. Yeah. You know, he, he uh, portrays a, a black woman. It, it's a woman that raised him, but he doesn't go. Yeah. A white man performing in blackface in a white club or 
almost anywhere would be wrong. He has a predominantly black following. He goes in a white man performing in black face at a black club. That's not racist. That's brave. And it's funny. And it's funny. And he brings a lot of joy to a lot of people of all colors. Hi, Helen from Arkansas. Yeah, he's got, let me tell you, if you look on, um, you look on Google and Wikipedia, he's got a really good professional resume. Claudia, making dinner, are you making dinner for one? Oh, bless your heart, Jan, I know. See, that was me. And I'm telling you, I wanted to wear my dress that just me made me. The dress, you, got, you all have seen the jacket before and the hat. And I wanted to wear the whole deal. In fact, I ordered a hat pin online. I can't, I've had hat pins. For some reason, none of my hat pins made the trip or maybe they got lost in the flood. I don't know. All of a sudden, you know, it's all the things I realize I don't have until I'm looking for them. And I have not seen a hat pin out here in Las Vegas. So uh, anywhere, anyway, I ordered them and you can get really good ones from the magazine Victoria. Uh, they, they have a real good se selection. So I will be wearing my ensemble next Thursday. Today, I just, I just felt so crummy. I didn't feel like doing, doing my hair. I did kind of a hair rescue with five Velcro rollers and some hairspray. And I've got um, sweats on that are so soft and comfy. And I, I just couldn't, couldn't do any better. And I want to, I want to have on pantyhose and nice shoes, which by the way, when Glenda was going over, yeah, her thing, her tiny little minimalist apartment and she has to get, has to go through every little item. Here are my band-aids. Here is it. Uh, here, here are my suppositories. It just, all the, here are my pantyhose. How old are those pantyhose? When? Would Glinda ever wear pantyhose? She doesn't even wear proper trousers. She only wears um, capris. Winter, summer, she wears capri pants, and um, so oh, and then out oh, all the tops, all the tops that Tam sent her were too big for her. Well, isn't that shocking? Because you know. They're the same size and all. Oh, gee, Jeannie's, where, where do you live if you say? No, I will, I will not forget. And I will have some full length video because I want to put a video up of my dress too, like, Di like Diane did. Because I want you to see her work in a different uh, spectrum, but we are going we're going to have a um, really special time at Thanksgiving. I am not cooking. <laughs> we're going to uh, the TPC. I will make a big deal out of Christmas, but I've got to decorate. Normally, I have to be completely decorated by Thanksgiving, or, or it's not done. And um, I haven't even started yet. I have not even started yet. I hope to get started on this weekend, and um, it'll be it'll be scaled back. But you know, I still want to make it nice for family and friends.
She wears those pantyhose to the casino on her Bill's K nights. Wish that didn't go over my head. I know it's funny though. Hey, Mike. Pantry hose. <laughs> Oh, Robin is saying she's sorry to Claudia. Did I, uh, what did I miss something here? It's probably news on Mark. Those must be some mega stretchy pantyhose. Yeah, she's never, uh, she's never shown anything that, that she would wear pantyhose for. I mean, even some people, although Glenda has never been interested in smoothing and shaping, even some people would wear a pantyhose under uh, a pair of trousers if you wanted to get, you know, especially if they're control tops, if you wanted to get a slimmed out look and you wore some shoes other than flip flops. But uh, yeah, I can't imagine. Yeah, clearly it has to do with some sort of of. Uh, I try to come up here and see. Claudia, do you have some news? I can't find it. Oh, Mark's memory is gone. Yeah. Oh, honey, I'm sorry, but that's how it was going, wasn't it? Oh. So sorry, honey, but you know what? It might be better. <laughs> Good one. Well, let's see what's going up to. Let's see. We've got, oh, we've got 152 here. Hey, crazy horse. Yeah, why did she, what was she hiding? What was she hiding? She was hiding something in the bedroom, I guess, from her laundry closet. And then here, I mean, how many times is she going to go over the same shit? Here's how I do my laundry. Oh, and here is my, th this was great. Here is my fuse box. Oh, it's so conveniently located right here by the bed. <sighs> Oh my God. No, I didn't see Cynthia Beaumont in any tights. <laughs> Good, Claudia. You you should move and and um I know you're st you're still thinking of a place in Nevada. It probably but you you gotta get out of a town that doesn't have any services. She hides her unmentionables, unmention yet she mentions them, and yet she models them. Well. I saw a food delivery bag on the floor outside the bedroom door. Maybe, do you think that that's what she was trying to hide? Um, a food delivery bag from, let's say, an Italian restaurant. Really, just me. I did not know she's lost that much weight. I knew she had lost a lot of weight. And she was saying that she was either throwing it up or not eating or something. Byzantine, you don't even know. You don't even need to know who Cynthia Cynthia Beaumont is. She's uh, 
Oh, she's this train wreck, wreck and Adam is trying to uh, promote her because, of course, he's looking for the next tan mom or the next Mama June or something. I don't think it's I don't think it's Cynthia B, but uh, I, you know, Alan, you do. Um, Why did I say Alan? <laughs> Adam, you do you, and I love you. Claudia, I second what just me said. Yeah, she blocked out that other room where all the non-minimal things are. Well, what, suppose, you know, she spent like the last three months uh, doing her half yearly clean. God, how could that place be so filthy? But okay, it's Glenda. Joanna, how could that place be so filthy? That she has to clean like that. Hey, Peaches. Sorry, there's the end of my coffee. No, uh, Foxy Fox, she doesn't want to go down that rabbit hole. But if you do, check it out. Cynthia Beaumont, I don't know how much of the how much you can take. Let's see. Friends at Autumn. Oh, is Autumn Yellow Snow here? <laughs> I love your videos too. Hey, Colette. So nice to see you. Mm, when I see somebody, I hope I'm not missing uh, three other people. Half the apartment could fit in the hoopty. I like to be a minimalist because when I need to leave in the middle of the night, I don't want to have a lot of stuff holding me down. Oh, thank you, Peaches. Oh, the protein smell. Yeah, it's like, you know, blood is iron. And now I guess uh, what sweat and what else is protein? Um, vomit, I guess, would be a protein smell. Oh, all the smells that trigger everything. And her, now she hates Pepto-Bismol. And mama used to give it to her. Gee, once again, Dort taking care of you when you're ill. Huh. You might want to try that. But you've told us that you're, what your idea of mothering is. Hey, you just ignore it and let your body figure it out. Kim, I I don't know. I, I I do not think we'll be hearing from Lele again. Uh, I think if we did hear from her, and this didn't happen, it's hard to say. Oh, I think if we did hear from her, she would say not to mention it, or she would probably say let everybody know I'm safe because she has said that before. But um, as far as I know, none of us have heard, heard from her. But uh, last time she sent a video, she said she was safe. She did. She did move, I believe. Uh, they caused her a lot of damage. And Glenda, I hope you're happy about that. But you know what? You'll pay. You're going to be held accountable for everything you've done to her, for everything you've done to Flo, for everything you've done to me. Everything you've done to Mindy, I mean, the list goes on. Everything you've done to Coastal, just for saying, you know, hey, this I, I, I think this woman's a scam artist. Duh. I hope so, too, Foxy Fox. I hope so, too. I don't know. No, I didn't. Oh, did I pick up? Yes, I picked up the skeleton hand. Okay, first of all, let's see. We have 165. 
please thumb thumbs up oh no here she needs a new manicure vivian i need to get out the red polish first please thumbs up and then hello 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 everybody welcome welcome children I know it. Can you imagine? And I'm telling you, uh, I I want to tell you this about our former friend Diane. She has laid low over there with those creeps. I think she's regretted uh, that, and I hope so, Diane, because you did not deserve to involve yourself in that cesspool. And how you like and cringy now, your baby, the uh, burglar, the burglar, the animal abuser. I know that's not gonna go over well with you, I know you have too much in integrity and too much passion for animals to let that slide. So you haven't been seen over there, to my knowledge, at Malice's and good on you, honey. And I'm still thinking about you and wondering how things are. And uh, I, I know they're not better. I know that. I know they're not better than the last time you updated people. Oh, yes. Nurse calls Madam for, do you think I should give her Pepto-Bismol? And I said, no, no, it's a virus. Just let her body heal like COVID. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First of all, you've never had COVID, but if you do nowadays, there is treatment for it. Thank goodness. That's why people aren't aren't dying. People are still getting COVID, but they're not dying. They're not going on ventilators, getting their lungs blown out and dying because there's treatment now. There's oral treatment and there's other, I think there's blood treatment, isn't there? Um, you all who know these things, isn't there something with the antibodies that some treatment it's not like before when there was no treatment and everybody was dying and aren't you glad because your your idea is just hey let your body heal you've never had covid glinda ever not once and it would be interesting to see if you ever do get it frankly i don't know how you have avoided it with your nasty habits and the way you're always running around. But I wonder if you're feeling, if you ever did get COVID, would it be the same? No, no, I don't want any treatment. I'll just let my body, I'll just let my body run through it. You're such a cow. Yes, why would you, I'll tell you why, Junior wouldn't. I mean, Junior's not very bright. <laughs> You know, I don't know how, how she remembered enough, you know, hey, she remembered enough to become an RN. That's, you can't be that stupid. But boy, she sure acts stupid or she doesn't. And Glenda, the way she's so passive aggressive with Junior makes Junior to sound stupid. Like Junior would call Glenda. Or, oh, my child's sick, what should I do? The woman's an RN.
Yeah, aren't you exactly, just me? Aren't we lucky to have treatment now? Jennifer, do you believe that story? Do you believe that story that a man caught up with her and said, oh, your jacket flew off your car. And then so she turned around. This is on the freeway. She turned around, had to take an exit, go back, go back another exit, come back, stop in the middle of the road and go get this. Yeah. That, hey, that sounds possible to me. Exactly. And, you know, it could be a lot of it just got to her. Maybe it just got to her. Or maybe she just, you know, it could be she just decided she didn't like me and kept up a facade for six months. I don't know why. I don't know why she would do that. I don't know any of it, but you know, there's there's uh, days when I miss her, but uh, I'm trying to get over that. Absolutely, she's never how she keeps lamenting about how she didn't finish her education. She didn't finish. She should have done this. She didn't. She didn't start her education. Glenda, you didn't start an education. You either quit, dropped out, or were kicked out of the first semester in community college. That's nothing. That's not, you didn't finish your education. You didn't start it. You didn't start it. I doubt very seriously that you had to leave because you were so hungry. You clearly weren't doing well. I think you probably got into a situation, even in junior college, you have so much more freedom than you have in high school. You either you know, go to class or you don't. And it's up to you and you have to pace yourself. I, I think you just bombed out because you couldn't handle junior college. In Mississippi. It, she never worked for anything. Anything. She, she never even thought of working for anything. I wonder where she uh, met Scotty. I wonder where she managed to meet him. I'm sure sitting on a bar stool. That's her, you know, that's her MO. Oh no, she would meet him then because she didn't like him because he was a teetotaler and he didn't smoke or dance. Oh, really? Yeah, I remember you saying that. Ah, <sighs> just me. I wish I I wish I could feel the the same way, but you all don't know the things she said to me. And that's okay. That's done. I want it to be done. But obviously still, I, I cared about her a lot. And, you know, I think about her now here at the holidays. And I think about her because I wonder what's going on with Mrs. B. But she not only 
doesn't want my friendship. That's fine. I understand that, but you know, she wants to hurt me. <laughs> Just oh, don't know. I don't understand. Hey, I'm not, um, I'm not even going there. Diana, I wish you all the happiness in life, but obviously, you know, and I know that we are done. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> you can be a teetotaler <laughs> and a non-smoker, and that's good enough. Exactly, Claire. Oh, my God, how she's gone on in that. Uh, Calling into the newspaper, sending her pictures, saying how she was a fighter, and then the first, and then she did that video. I kicked COVID to the curb, but all these people are dying. She never had COVID. He never had COVID once, Glenda. Not once. Not once. Not three times. Not so many times. You can't remember. Not once. You have never showed. Not that you have to, nobody has to show their medical records, but I would, would like to point out that for all of your posturing, all of you, all of your claims, you have never once showed a positive COVID test. And if you had COVID, you would have that. Yeah. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> No, you guys, I'm not crying. I'm just trying to make my eyes look shiny. No, no kidding, Claudia. <laughs> Can't move my chair. I see some Kleenex that's on the floor, not where it needs to be. Hello, hello. Okay, since I'm crying, I might as well do this now. I might as well show you guys this now. Come here. Come here. Come here. I said come here. Come here. Come here. Hey, come here. Come here. Kelly, come here. Yeah, <laughs> good. I just have to use your name. No, don't lay down. No, don't lay down. Come to me. Come to me. I can't pick you up like that. Come. Come. That fatty rolls over on her back and thinks I can pick her up? Not likely. Okay, I'm going to go get your sister. Hello, sweetie. Let's get you. Let's get you. I want to show your sister, but I'll show you. It's sweater time. It's sweater time, and let me tell you, these girls love their sweaters. They absolutely do. They sleep so much better. Everything's better. But why I said I might as well do this while I'm crying <laughs> is when I got out the sweaters, I keep everything all together. The, the sweaters, all, they have their own drawer in my dresser with all the dog stuff and I got I got these out and of course I have three she wears the medium let's say and Kelly wears the biggest one and then we had the smallest one that was Molly and of course I saw that and I just I just lost it and I slept with it that night I just slept with it holding it and <laughs> 
just but anyway i need to go i need to go through them all i have them all packed together and i need to take out all the smalls and um take them to the shelter because i'm going to give uh molly's air airline crate to um the heaven can wait shelter here in las vegas and i'll give the little sweaters too because the little dogs they really need absolutely byzantine thank you thank you and i'm thinking about i I still feel good about my mission here. And I appreciate all of you who are here with me. I'm not going to let it go. It's, she is so, I mean, I can taste it. She is so on the verge of self-destructing. I do not think she will last through 2023. She will either get arrested or perhaps she already was arrested and I don't know about it yet. Her show will just die a natural death. She can have people, they, she can keep having people run these playlists. She mentioned the other day, Thrifty Grandma, thank you for running my playlist completely against terms of service, but it, it doesn't matter. The rules don't apply to her. And you know, how much longer? She's clearly not getting, for any new subscriber she's getting, she's losing. And like today, she just sat there in the car and babbled and then said, please like and share. And I'd love for you, if you're just passing through, I'd love you to join. Do you think if anybody passed through and saw her sitting there in her Sasquatch outfit, just babbling about nothing, that they would want to, oh yeah, here, let me subscribe to this because I want to see more of this. Her channel is barely hanging on. That is right. And I'm saying hit her while she's down. Hey, um, I didn't bring that. Well, maybe I did. Something I brought my Oh, I did bring it. Uh, here's some news for some future programming. We won't be here next Thursday because it's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. I hope you have good plans. I think I already said we're gonna. I'm gonna let the club do the cooking on Thanksgiving. I'll take on Christmas, but. I'll just do that, but it's right. Thanksgiving is late this year. It's on the 24th, and then Advent begins on the 27th of November. So, I mean, I really got to get on these, uh, these decorations. So, I take it today's the 17th, so we will not meet on the 24th but we will meet on december 1st that's a thursday and then we will have a special meeting on december 5th and that will be to celebrate glinda's christmas party and i'll tell you um you guys bring your own refreshments and let's let's make it really festive and of course a birthday party should have presents so i will um i'll tell you what the presents are it's it's going to be five one hundred dollar gifts and it can be you just want me to send you a hundred dollars on zelle i can do that a, a amazon gift certificate or a gift certificate to any place you want but um as far as the uh, transferring things, unless you're Bank of America, I can transfer any, it's anybody through Bank of America. Otherwise, I just use Zelle. I don't use that Venmo or anything. I'm still trying to make the young people in my life bend to my will. 
I don't want to start, they're all, he uses Venmo, Venmo, because, you know, they go around and they send each other, they, they go out to Starbucks and send each other $7. I think you could do that on sale too, but I just don't want to have two. <laughs> I'm old, okay? I know how to use Zelle. Uh, so Zelle is real easy. Uh, I can do that. And then any, uh, any gift certificates you want. So there'll be five and the only requirements are to be a, be subscribed to this channel and be there on the day. And we'll just go over the wonderful time when Glenda went out and stole her own Christmas present and was a was arrested and thrown into the Hooskow on her birthday. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, that's just too good. I know they're not necessary, but I would like to um, give, you, give, give you guys gifts. Because... Um, Hey, it's, it's my social security and it's my party and I can do what I want. But I, I know, I know absolutely it isn't necessary, Alan Elder. And, and I'm uh, scaling back from birthday parties in the past, but I would really like to, uh, I, I would really like to share Christmas gifts with you. No, don't forget December 5th arrested, thrown in the back of a police car, taken to jail, gone to jail <laughs> on her birthday, on her freaking birthday. And can you, what, can you imagine what is her excuse to the, well, you know, it was my birthday. What's November 17th? Today is November 17th, right? Be here, be here, Barbara. Yeah, today is, but um, our regular day, I think is December 1st, right? Because we're, let me look at it again. Because the 24th is next Thursday and that we won't be uh, t together. Um, but I'll be thinking of you all and please think of me on Thanksgiving, which is the 24th. And then the following Thursday is December 1st. So we will meet December 1st and, um, December 8th, both are Thursdays, December 1st and December 8th, but there will be a special a special meeting on December 5th for Glinda's birthday party. Yeah, she won't forget that birthday because we won't let her. <laughs> yes, she's been arrested more times than she could remember. She's had COVID more times than she can remember. And we all know her memory is not very great because she tells... Uh, she'll tell some story and then tell a different version of it the next day. She lies so much. She cannot, uh, she, no one has a good enough memory to be the liar that Glenda is. And Glenda certainly does not. She got no cake. Oh. Okay. We'll all have cake. You guys get your cake. Okay. Go get a cupcake or something. Let's make sure we have cake. Okay. Honey is a great item to use in the shower on body or hair, but don't use honey in tea or coffee. It's not safe. What's that about, Claude? <laughs> Cupcakes, that's right. I'm buying her a pony. Now I'm gonna make I'm gonna make cupcakes for the whole group, but I can't 
get I won't be able to get them to you. So you all have to bring your own cupcake. I've always been, um, what really helps me when allergies are so bad, usually in the spring and the fall, is to eat the local honey. And bee, bee pollen tabs too, I have those. But the local honey, I really believe in that. If you get one of Roy's best friends from high school is a doctor and of course I because of the trolls I can't give you his name or the um, hospital he's affiliated with but he has done okay now I can't even say this much because it'd be so easy to find him he has done a lot of research on uh, food allergy in children and basically the treatment is to give them small minute amounts of this allergen and keep it up bump it up bump it up and that allows them to to build up the immunities to this allergen which you know might be able to kill them if they had it under the wrong circumstances is that right one teaspoon of honey takes a bee's whole life to pr produce. Wow. Oh, Kim. Yeah. I'm in Las Vegas. Maybe I'll bring brownies too. Jan, maybe you should have one of my brownies. Oh, I do too. But my favorite is Lady Grey. I love Earl Grey, but only in mix. It's a little too perfumery for me to have just Earl Grey alone. Um, but the Lady Grey, which I think is Twinings, it is really good. Or, uh, or these mixtures that you can get like at the Four Seasons or any hotels that, that do a really uh, nice afternoon tea, a lot of times have their own blends that you can buy. And they have all mixed in just enough of that Earl Grey to be, to taste good and be, have a nice perfume. Hey, Brad. I was talking about you earlier. Sourwood honey from North Carolina. Not familiar with that. Hi, Robert. I think Earl Grey has more bergamot. Is that a, is that an herb? Okay, Jennifer, go ahead and bring gummies for the, for the birthday party. Oh yeah, the chairlift that's gonna be installed to the handrail. It's an herb, okay, good. <laughs> Bring your own lit cones. 
<laughs> they might melt. You don't drink, but brownies sound good. <laughs> oh. I have been having like this. I've had such a bad week with the pain. I've actually been having a little bite of Roy's chocolate. <laughs> it's salted chocolate. <laughs> and I just have a tiny little, like he, he says, just have a half, just have a quarter. No, I, I nibble off a tiny little, a little bite of it. And I hope it's helping. It takes a long time to feel anything. And I don't know if I ever even do feel anything. But I'm just trying, trying to get some sleep. Thank you, Taylor. It's I'll I'll try to get better. I'm trying. I'm trying. Will they take her anywhere for the big birthday? Hmm. I mean, here's what they here's what they know. If they take Linda out, they're gonna have to. First of all, she's gonna bitch about it wherever they take her. Uh, she's gonna order half the menu, and complain, and uh, take home at least as much as she ate there yeah and you're gonna have a camera in your face all night doesn't sound like a good good time for junior and hoot nanny no no tell me more robin Yes, Claudia, I have you back in my phone. By the way, anybody that usually texts me and you haven't heard from me, I've, I'm having to rebuild my, my whole list. And um, so, yeah, if, if we're used to texting and, and I'm not, we haven't texted in a while, please, please, Jan, that means you. Um, please send me a text and tell me in the text who you are so I can rebuild that list. Oh yeah, she, um, she said she breastfed Junior till she was three. And she said that breastfeeding was frowned upon. No, I know that, you know, there was a big thing because like in the 70s, that's the that's really when women went back into the workplace. And by the 80s, it was almost the norm that mothers worked. So I don't know what, but yeah, she claimed, it, you know, it was all a conspiracy by Big Pharma to make mothers feel bad about themselves for breastfeeding. No, and the, here's the thing is, Mitz, whatever they do, it will not be enough. It will not be enough. It will not satisfy her. Okay, good, Robin. Thank you. La Leche League. Oh, here. You've heard of bee stings as MS treatment. I'll be darned. 
I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some research on that online. I always like to keep up with things. My MS has really taken a back seat to this post hepatic neuralgia. And I am seeing, um, I haven't been paying attention to how things with that are progressing. And they are. Uh, yeah, they are. <laughs> uh, I can live with it. But oh, I just I wish I could get this solved or get it better even if it's just like right now just the yesterday afternoon the fine the pain let up like the five days before it was just constant constant it just couldn't get any relief i either had the heating pad on me or the ice pack or just you know constantly doing something to help relieve it and it wouldn't but um yeah it's better now 71 at Glinda's birthday. Yes, it's her 71st birthday. <laughs> Alan Elder, I, I think that it is amazing that she hasn't come down with something i mean she's lucky and she must have a strong constitution from her genetics because my god the way that woman abuses her body and has for so long. And you can even tell, like, with her fat, it's not like fluffy uh, fat, you know, like gained in a while, in a while you go, but she's not, she's not fluffy. She likes has, has like hard, hard, lumpy fat that isn't gonna come off easily. The thing is, she's not, she's not concerned. She's not concerned about losing weight. She's not concerned about eating healthy. Now, uh, my, my haters will point out that I have gained weight recently, and I certainly have. But I didn't do it by eating crap. I eat whole foods, healthy foods. Uh, I tend to eat too many sweets. But I don't eat any fast food or any crap. I don't make big vats of things. I mean, it's just you, you get to an age. I'm going to be 65 next year. You have people know you have to eat less and less and less. Hey, is Chuck here? Chuck, I talked to you earlier. Yeah, if people care about her, quit sending her gift cards. But I don't think she does. I think she just likes to go out and buy fat food and use fast food and use that as an excuse that either Junior paid for it or a subscriber that wishes to be nameless sent her a gift card. Oh, Alan Elder, last week. I I let myself get through it. Last week, Bluebell was on sale at Safeway for $5 a half gallon. Or is it a gallon? The big thing. Maybe it's a gallon. It, anyway, it's the one that's usually $8.99. It was on sale. It was $5 Friday. It was on sale for $5. And I was there. And it was hard to <laughs> leave it, but I did. Absolutely, Jennifer. Oh, my God. And I don't know what in the world that blue, the blue jacket she's talking about that she supposedly picked up on the freeway. 
I don't know what it was. I, I don't recall her ever really wearing a blue jacket, but she said it was one of her favorites and yada, yada. All I ever see her wearing is that Sasquatch. Oh my goodness, that thing is so unflattering. That big white puff ball. She looks like the Stay Puff Man. Yeah, mm-hmm. Oh, Claudia, you're so sweet. Oh, she was on the old country road, not the freeway. <laughs> oh, yeah, and she claims a couple of trucks uh, ran over it. Well, how does she know? Because she was, you know, getting off and turning around and getting back on and going by. So what, she was just watching? Why didn't you pull out your your camera and film that? That would have been funny. That would have been funny. You got your camera right there. It's like, hey, y'all, this man just told me that my blue jacket fell off my car and was on the freeway. So we're, let's go back and see if I can find it. Now, see, there's, there's something that would be interesting. Seeing you, look for it, look for it. Oh, there it is. Oh, look, a truck ran over it. And then parking in the street and running up and getting it. Glenda, that's gold. That is gold content. But no, you think it's better to just tell the story. She called it the highway man. Oh, speaking of highway, I don't why it's speak to highway. Uh, we're watching um, Tulsa King. With Sylvester Stallone, only seen one episode. I'm not sure what night they come on. Mm, it's on Paramount Plus. I wish it was like net. I like how Netflix just releases them all. Like The Crown, the day The Crown comes out, they're all there. No, this one is one where you have to wait every week, but that's always kind of nice too, because it's it's hard for me to find things that Roy and I both like like to watch. And uh, this is. Tulsa King, it is good. Your heart is pounding and racing. Okay, this is what I've been told by an ambulance driver when I had heart palpitations. Close your nose, you hold your nose closed, and then you like bear down like you're constipated and need to go to the bathroom. And that'll many times reset your heart to beating regularly. With the Benny Hill music playing, I know, Brad, am I wrong? This would be better content than she's ever had. That would be funny. And everybody say, oh, oh, is she going to get it? Is she going to get it? And then if she pulled it back in the car with, uh, tire tracks all over it. It would be hilarious. And then she's going to go home and wash it and try to get it clean and try to pry up those things. Glenda, that's better content than you've had ever. You dummy. Well, Barbara, I assumed, yeah, how how did it get out of the car? I assumed she, like, left it on the outside of the car when she got in, but then I don't know how far away she drove uh, before it flew off. I don't know. She left it on the trunk. Okay. Oh, hey, Chuck. I talked about you early on the thing, and I just want to tell you that um, you are a loved and respected figure here and don't want to get off track on that. Yeah. 
Yeah, Robert. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't think. I wouldn't think so. Absolutely. And then, well, I don't know if I told you all this before. Well, like, when did it happen? <laughs> when was there a day that you didn't uh, speak to people? Good night, Jan. Thank you, Chuck. And I, first of all, I didn't even me. I said I should not have said anything because I said I didn't. I I didn't watch it, and I don't know. And why should I even think anything based on something cringy said? And I only watched his thing because he called me a racist and that dog won't hunt. I've said it before and he'll never make it in that and it, it won't for you either. Well, we probably should uh, go, y'all. We've been on um, maybe a few more minutes, maybe go to one hour and 15 minutes. Is anybody... Oh, yeah, super washer dryer combo. She's got it all. She had to show that off again. And I'm doing some towels. Or was she doing some towels? Or was she doing sheets? Oh, I need to know what she was doing in that laundry. And what was she going to eat that day for her dinner and for her lunch and for her breakfast tomorrow? Because God knows she has to have three meals a day. <laughs> Merle needs the best. Her dinner. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, let me give you a little, little hint, Glenda. You're not getting a hoopty from your subs. <laughs> you, you think you can keep pushing them and pushing them and pushing them for more money. But that's going to run dry. No, nothing, Jennifer, because all of her pants are raggedy jeans. I've said before, she just needs to buy a couple of nice pair of black trousers. She's got all those blouses, although now the blouses are too big for her. Yeah, <laughs> your little petite body and all. So Tammy told you what to do. Just belt it and then pull it up and blouse it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That'd be a good look. Yeah, let's see that. Night, Robin. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you all. <laughs> oh, Robert, a real nasty thought just went through my head, and I blame you. Oh, yes, we cannot talk about it. We, we got to talk about more. Where's Zeus? Where's Zeus? She thinks it's going to drop. It's not going to drop. Where's Zeus? And I ask you, if you do make a video about it, put Glenda Sully in the title. Don't put hashtag Glenda Sully. When you put hashtag, that takes you away from the site. So if you put hashtag Glenda Sully and anybody clicks on it, it will take you to her page. So you don't want to do that. You want to do, just put Glenda Sully in the title, Where Zeus, or something like that. And then you can do hashtag where's Zeus. And then if anybody clicks on where's Zeus, the playlist of all the where Zeus videos will come up. So asking you, where's Zeus? Let's ask her. Let's keep the 
question on the lady because she seems to have forgotten all about her soulmate. First voice she hears in the morning and last at night, but yet all during the day, she doesn't even think about him. Doesn't she think that her subscribers want to hear about him? I mean, he is such, he's been such a huge part of her storyline for so long. Oh, she better get on that kitty poo because you know what? People are concerned, Linda. People are concerned. Um, I Perhaps he's in the hospital and I would like to uh, send him some flowers or candy uh, in the hospital because, you know, he's always doing something for everybody else. Not you, but, you know, for other people. And um, if he's in distress... Maybe some of us here would like to help. No clue. She wears all these ratty jeans. I mean, her jeans are worn out. Can you imagine the pressure on those inner thighs? And they're short. They're such an unflattering thing that you know cuts off her leg at the fat of the calf and so it doesn't matter you know she, she wears a nice blouse and then wears those ratty jeans and flip-flops year-round come on linda oh my god what's peaches up to <laughs> yes let's quilt a wall hanging Maybe Zeus ran off with his assistant, a lovely French lady. Nordstrom offers free bra fitting. Oh, man, do you need that big time? Any good department store will do that. Good night, Lori. Yeah, where's the holiday candy? <laughs> Good job, Malinois. Yeah. Uh, eggs, where, where am I trying to click on something? But Robert Gray, we're not going to let it be gone. No, you think, you think she can do all that and then just all of a sudden never mention it without saying, I made it up. I told you that part of my, part of my channel was fiction. So I just made up the zoo storyline. Hey, you can say that. But you think you can just not ever mention him again and not have it coming at you from all sides? Where, Zeus? I'd be thinking of some answers if I were you. Where's Zeus? Well, thank, thank you all so much for, again, for being here with me. Have a lovely Thanksgiving. I know you will, and I'll see you on the channel. And then we'll be back in two weeks from the day. And then we'll be back, which is the first. And then we'll have our, our birthday surprise party on the 5th, all same time, uh, 7 Eastern. Zeus MIA. Uh-huh. <laughs> Jackie Mac. We'll miss you. I'll miss you all. But I'll see you. I'll talk to you all um, on the thing. You gave her an out. Claim Zeus ran off with Tammy. <laughs> Play up the wrong betrayed person. Will Zeus lose Tammy gifts? 
but how's but how many animal prints does she need? <laughs> I like it. Zeus for now. Ah, okay. Leper, uh, over the, let's see, I guess, it, I guess it was Monday night. I watched like five episodes, but I was really in pain, so I have to go back and watch them again. I probably can't. I was just watching them trying to, just trying to feel better. But I'll watch them better. I feel better now, hopefully. Yeah, one day, you know, one day she'll say, oh, yeah, by the way, he's deceased. Like his dog and his mom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he died. I didn't mention it. <laughs> Zeus ran off with the reindeer. <laughs> it's kind of uh, confusing how they keep going back and they're showing the the um, oh the first queen. They're they're not showing this second queen in flashbacks and then there's the third queen which is older but they are they're having flashbacks to um the first queen and that's claire foy isn't it oh she's been thinking about them a lot too oh man she just love to get her nose wrapped around some of that protein Bye, Taylor. Love you, Christina. Love you, Claudia. Take good care. Keep in touch. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving, Panthers. I'll pop on if something pops up. And what about um, Alan? What about the brother? Is he still alive? You know, the brother that runs logistics and the fleet of, of, uh, Tractor trailers. <laughs> You're telling me. Alan Elder, don't didn't don't you know? Uh Harold, he's married to his same girlfriend he had in high school. All he did is, you know, step out. They didn't date. They didn't date. They didn't do these airplane aerobics. They didn't go have pa. <laughs> he didn't he didn't take her out in public. He had a girlfriend and he married the girlfriend while Glenda was still in high school and they are married to this day. No. Glenda was you know, then it was good enough for sowing wild oats, but that's about it. Hi, Sandra. Glad to see you here. Happy Thanksgiving. All right, y'all. Thank you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. If you haven't, thumbs up. I can't see how many, but if you haven't, please thumbs up. Happy Thanksgiving to you all. Thank you very much for being here. And I'll see you on the channel. See you on the channel. Happy Thanksgiving.